It has become a bit of a meme at this point, but no matter what I am talking about, somebody is going to call me a Whalen shill. I could be talking about Windows, Whalen shill. I could be talking about how great X11 is, Whalen shill. I could be talking about the mythical X12, Whalen shill. No matter what I am talking about, Whalen shill. And you know what? I don't think a lot of people realize that for maybe three or so months, I wasn't daily driving Wayland, I was still using X11 with the awesome WM window manager. This is something you probably wouldn't have noticed unless you looked at my terminal and saw like what my NeoFetch was or PFetch, whatever application it was, or you noticed the very specific things about my theming. But now that has changed. Now I am back on Hyperland, and if all goes well, I think that is going to be the very last time that I ever daily drive X11. Honestly, every time I come back to this compositor, I am continuously amazed at just how much better it's gotten since the last time I used it. The first time I used Hyperland, it was buggy as hell. I would drag a window around and the entire screen would flicker. I would make a window, the screen would flicker. I would delete a window, the screen would flicker. Now, it feels lighter and smoother and a better experience than the last time I used it. And the last time I used it, it was already really, really good. I don't have numbers to compare what it was like a couple of months ago to what it is now. But my anecdotal experience just tells me it feels better than it was before. And maybe it's just the fact that I'm comparing it to my X11 environment, which, look, it might just be badly configured and just really heavy, running things I just don't need to be running. And maybe Awesome WM is a really heavy window manager, which in the context of window managers, it kind of is. But I do know that Vaxry has been optimizing the application, has been fixing up some of those bugs, and it's less about fixing issues now and more about making it better. In those early days, it genuinely was really, really buggy. And that's not to say it's not a little buggy now, but most of the focus now is on making it better, not making it stable, because the stability is basically just there. Now, I can't really comment on the legitimacy of this myself as I run an AMD system, but I've been seeing a lot of people saying that even NVIDIA is a fairly good experience now in Hyperland. Obviously keeping in mind that the newer cards are going to be a much better experience than something a bit older. If you're running something like a 780, for example, or like a 660, you know what the experience on Wayland is probably going to be like. What I can say, though, is if you do want to try it out, trying out Hyperland is easier than ever now. Previously, there was like these additional patches in a separate package you had to run. Now that NVIDIA functionality is in the main Hyperland package, so it's fairly easy to try. I can't say if it's going to work super well, but it is easy to try. Now, a couple of months ago, Hyperland in its current state was already good enough for the vast majority of average people. But I always tend to just run into these weird cases where things aren't properly tested yet. And my issue was related to video production, specifically using portals for window and screen capture. Now, Hyperland, unlike most WROOTS compositors, doesn't recommend using the WLR portal. This is the WROOTS portal implementation. Instead, Hyperland has their own portal implementation. This started as a fork of the WROOTS version, but has since become really its own separate thing and only works on Hyperland. Now, the reason why they have their own portal is there are various things in the main portal that are broken and have been broken for a very long time. The main one for me being individual window capture. You cannot capture individual windows on WR Roots. This is not a Wayland issue. You can do this on GNOME, you can do this on KDE, and you can do this on Hyperland. It is a problem in the WLR portal and has been there for the past three years. And to this day, has not been addressed. And it's gotten to the point where people are now just suggesting, go and run Hyperland instead. At some point, I should do a video on why it's like this, but for now, know that if you want to do individual window capture, 
on Dub Your Roots, your only option, at least right now, is Hyperland. And this is exactly why when people say to me, hey, why don't you go and daily drive DWL, or go and daily drive Sway, or go and daily drive River, or Hikari, or any of these other great compositors, I say, I can't do that. I need individual window capture. I use that constantly when doing the podcast, and if I don't have that, that is an absolute showstopper for me, and it doesn't matter how good the rest of the environment is, I just can't use it. Now, this is not to say the Hyperland portal has been perfect. I did say this was part of the reason why I left Hyperland. So, it's been, to put it lightly, really flaky over the past couple of months, and only very recently have all of those problems been dealt with. So, I'd have times where I open up OBS and the portal just wouldn't open. Or it would open five separate times, resetting the thing that I'm trying to set. I would have to kill the portal and then restart it, which would then maybe fix the problem. But there was a time where if I killed the portal, it would also crash Hyperland, which was a problem. I would have this issue where I would try to set an output and then it opens up another portal for a separate output. And then setting that output would lock up the entire portal and I'd have to restart the portal, which also ran the risk of crashing Hyperland. Sometimes if I just left it running too long, the portal would just disconnect. It would just have no idea what's going on and freeze on the last frame that it had. So I'd have to reset the portal, which once again ran the risk of crashing Hyperland. A more recent issue I've had is from this current incarnation of using Hyperland. So if I'm capturing my desktop like I am right now, and whilst the desktop is not visible, I swap to another workspace like this, it would just disconnect from the portal and show me the last workspace I saw, not the current one I'm supposed to be on. That problem's now gone. But not just that problem, every single other portal capture issue I had, completely gone. Portals are now absolutely rock solid. There is one very, very tiny issue. If, like I said before, I'm capturing a desktop, it's not visible, I swap to a workspace and then show the desktop, there are times where for like a very split second, it will flicker just trying to catch up to where it's supposed to be. After that, it works no issue at all. It's just the very start. Maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not, maybe it's supposed to work like that. Either way, it's not really that big of a deal. But the biggest issue, and the reason why I left Hyperland before, was this issue here. Resizing a window being captured by a portal hard locks the system. So, I would resize a window capture, and then it was trying to like catch up with the resize, so the capture itself was changing size in the bit that I've actually got selected. And that would just keep going and going and going. And then if I open up something like BTOP, I notice my system resources just cranking higher and higher and higher and higher. And eventually, the system would just completely hardlock. And I mean the system. You couldn't go to another TTY. You couldn't do anything. The entire thing died. This bug caused me multiple podcast delays, multiple stream delays. I had to hard power down my system a good, like, 10, 15 times using Hyperland, and it just got to the point where it was honestly just wasting me so much time. I had to, like, pause podcast recordings to reboot my system, and it just... It honestly was not a pleasant experience for doing video production. If I wasn't making videos, Hyperland would have been perfect at that time. But I just couldn't use it to make videos. So, I reported the bug. Vaxry didn't know what the problem was. He, at least to my knowledge, still never worked out what the problem actually was. But, at some point, did a Hyperland portal rewrite. And, uh didn't recreate the bug, so when I came back to Hyperland, the problem was just gone. And it hasn't come back since. I can now resize a window, and 
it just resizes like you would expect it to. It's a little bit slower to do the resizing than it is on X11 because it has to go through a portal instead of just calling the API on X11 directly, but it works like it should. Like, it all catches up and it doesn't cause an issue after, like, a fraction of a second. But the best part about waiting a couple of months and then coming back to Wayland is it's not just Hyperland issues that got addressed. Things in other applications were also being fixed. So I commonly play Final Fantasy XIV, and this is running through Wine. Therefore, it's running through X Wayland. And there was this really weird old issue where the camera would just randomly snap looking at the ground. And this wasn't just a Hyperland issue or a W or Roots issue. People were seeing this issue over on KDE as well, and it's just generally an issue with a couple of 3D games. The problem was just gone. Like, completely gone. I was previously running the game in Gamescope to fix the issue. I didn't need to anymore. I could just run it, and it just worked. And when it comes to Hyperland improvements, ever since September, there has now been support for the tearing protocol. So if you happen to be a tearing fan and you actually want to use that, is now here. They support immediate page flips and you can just go and use it. Now, this is off by default and you don't have to use it, but I've said it before and I'll say it again because it needs to be said. Hyperland is by far the best dub your roots compositor. Yes, there are really good compositors that are really small and focus on a very specific thing, but as a general compositor that does a lot of things, Hyperland is the best. Now, whilst I'm enjoying my Hyperland experience, if all goes well, I won't be on Hyperland for that much longer. I'm not going back to X11, but I did say I was going to try out Plasma 6 when it comes out. I have been warned by multiple KDE devs that maybe I should wait for like a .1 or .2 release, because even though 6.0 isn't a dev release like it was in the 4.0 case, and they've done tons of testing and all of that stuff, we all know that no matter how much testing they do with a beta audience, the second that the general public gets it, someone is going to notice something that wasn't tested or was tested in like a partial way, and there's going to be some pretty annoying bugs that show up. And considering my track record, I'm probably going to be the person that finds that bug. So maybe it's a good thing if I try it early, because that means the bug will get dealt with in a fairly reasonable amount of time. Or maybe I could wait for somebody else to be the beta tester and just let them try it out. I don't know. Either way, I will be using Plasma 6 at least for some period of time. I don't know if I'll stick on it. We'll see if I actually enjoy it. But at least I can finally say, now I am a true Wayland shill who has completely dropped Daily Driving X11 and I don't have any issue with it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you tried out Hyperland? What do you think of it? Or if you haven't tried out Hyperland, have you tried out Wayland recently and just experience what it's currently like? I don't care what your opinion is of it three years ago. Your opinion's completely wrong. Try it now. See what it's like now. If you still don't like it, totally fine. You still have time to wait, but things have been getting quite a bit better. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon subscribe to Libero Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... It is very hot in this room, that's why I'm kind of shiny.